Okay, let's keep going. And now let's look at the uh, cell cycle. Cell cycle is, is like a life cycle of a living organism. Uh, cell cycle is the life cycle of the cell. So in in human, okay, think about your life cycle. Uh, a lot of events happens. You have childhood, you have adolescence, you have young adult, middle age, and uh, an old age until a person die. And different events happen in different age. That's the life cycle of human. In the cell, very, very similar. So uh, the cell start from one new cell and eventually they go through the cell cycle and eventually they divide to two new daughter cells. And that's the cell cycle. So different events happens. And we divide them into first is interphase and then mitosis phase and then cytokinesis. So that's the cell cycle, uh, different events happen. And the interface, that's the long period of time because uh, that's the time the cell is doing its normal job. So we can divide them into subphases, G1, S, and DNA synthesis. DNA duplicate happens in the S phase, which is inside the interface. And then the G2, the cell keep doing its job. And similar for mitosis, you find the mitosis is, is, is actually pretty short. That's when the cell division happens. That's a dynamic phase. So it depends on what events happens. Inside the mitosis, mitotic phase, uh, you also have different subphases. And the last one is cytokinesis. And when you finish the whole cell cycle, you end up with two new daughter cells. Okay, so let's start to talk about uh, interface. So interface usually is the longest part of the cycle. It's like for human, most of the time you are working uh, from young adult and to middle age to old adult uh, and the retired age till you retire. All these 30, 40 years you are working and that's the long period of time, similar for cell. Interface, that's the longest part of the cycle. So during this time, the cell is doing its job. Uh, stomach cells release stomach acid, uh, skin cells protect you, neurons in your brain, they keep generating electrical signals. So they keep doing their job. And also they grow, they grow bigger and bigger uh, because before they divide, you need to have enough uh, mass cytosol to divide. So during the interphase, uh, the cell increases mass. Also the number of uh, cytoplasmic components double because, well, you, you need to divide to two daughter cells and your cell organelles uh, need to duplicate. You need to duplicate the mitochondria, those uh, rough ER, smooth ER, Golgi apparatus, so you can have two identical daughter cells. And also, very important one, DNA duplicate. You need to have a double DNA before you divide. So that's all of them happens in the interface. So during the interface, it looks like nothing happens, right? It's like uh, during the lifetime when we are working, okay, 20, when you turn 20, you start to work. And when you are 30, you still work, you're 40, you're 50. Um, well, you, it looks like life is the same. You're just doing your job. Uh, that's the interface of the cell. Okay, and then finally, they reach the mitotic phase. The mitotic phase is, uh, the cell is dynamic. Uh, so first is the DNA have to divide uh, the nucleus part, the head part. This is the most important thing. This is the mitosis. And then the last part is the cell membrane divide into two uh, cytoplasm part, uh, especially the cell membrane. So you end up with two new do daughter cells, the cytokinesis. So uh, mitotic phase, this dynamic phase, include the mitosis and cytokinesis. And you know it's a short period of time, the mitotic phase, uh, but it's pretty important. So it depends on what events happen. This show the mitosis. And you find those chromosomes are condensed. They first, they need to line up in the center. And then you have those anchoring called the centrioles. Uh, they form the anch anchoring functions and you have the uh, those microtubules, they help to attach to the chromosome and pull them to two different parts. So it's dynamic and different events happen. So mitosis, even though it's short, uh, 
uh, we divide them into four different subphases, depends on what event happened. So that's the whole mitosis. Uh, we have the prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So your job is to know what events, each one have a very clear definition. Apparently, a uh, uh, very specific event happens in each of the subphases. So your job is to know what happens. Okay, so let's look at uh, start from the prophase. So what happened in the prophase? Prophase is those chromosomes. Uh, you start to see chromosome. So those chromatid condensed become chromosome. They become visible. That's the most important one. And the second important thing is the nuclear envelope disappear. So suddenly the nucleus is gone. You don't see the nucleus. Nucleus envelope dis disappear. This is the more, two most important events happen in the prophase. And then some small things, uh, those uh, microtubules, they start to form. And those uh, centrioles, uh, they start to form because they are ready to go to the two part, this uh, cytoskeletal system. They, they, they are ready to pull the, uh, the chromosome. So that's also happened in the prophase. Uh, that's the uh, whitefish cells. You can see that's the prophase. Okay, they are ready. And the next one is called the metaphase. Different from prophase, metaphase, a very clear structure is you see those chromosomes all line up in the center. That's what happened in the metaphase, very clear. So sister chromatids are attached by microtubule from the optic sides. So they are ready to be poor. Not poor yet, ready to be poor. That's the metaphase. So uh, those chromosomes line up in the center. That's a very good picture of the metaphase. Uh, this is the metaphase. They are ready to be poor. Poor to two sides. Okay, next one is called the anaphase. So anaphase is you start to pull those sister chromatid. So these two uh, sister chromatid been pulled away. And that's the inner phase. So this is the inner phase. You find those chromosomes, uh, two sister chromatid being pulled away. So that's the inner phase. And the last one is the tiller phase. So that's when you finish, when you finish. And another uh, clear uh, events happen is those nuclear envelope start to form. So you see two nucleus. That's the telophase. That's the telophase. And so the cells still connected together. So you found, okay, they start to form two nucleus. And then the last one is the cell body divide and that's the cytokinesis. So cell membrane, the cytosol divide into two. And when you finish cytokinesis, you have two complete, completely separated daughter cells. And that's when you finish mitosis. So you start from one cell, end up with two daughter cells, complete separated daughter cells. And that's the mitosis. Okay, let's stop here.